Hello, today I'm going to show you this question. So our goal is to find the values of k such that these two lines don't intersect. So what we have here is one quadratic and one linear equation. So the shape of them, the quadratic is sort of the u shape. We know it's going to be positive because it's got a, a positive a value here. And then the straight line as well, something like this. So we can see at some point it's going to not intersect and some point it's going to intersect once and imagine it was a tangent, it would intersect. So here it would intersect twice. And at some point it's a tangent when it intersects once. So we want to find basically what values of k do these two not intersect. So we can think what's the value of k going to do here. It kind of moves it in two directions. If we do complete in the square on this, what we can see is that x plus k, all squared, minus k squared plus 7, is a way to rewrite this. So if you expand this back out, we'll get x squared plus 2 times kx, which is the middle, plus k squared. When we subtract the k squared again, we're left with just the 7. So this is the, the same way. And we can think about the transformation this makes then. So it moves it left by k and down by k squared. So we can see as we increase k away from 0 in either direction, whether it's positive or negative, so the magnitude of k. So as the magnitude of k increases, this is going to move down. It's going to move left as well, um, or right, depending on whether it's positive or negative, but it's always going to move down. This is fixed. It's going to be in the same place. So what we can imagine is straight away sort of large magnitudes of k are going to make this intersect and small magnitudes are not it's going to be higher when this is a, a small value so basically the bigger k the bigger the magnitude of k the lower down this is going to be so it'll end up intersecting the line so let's try and prove what value that's going to be and the way we do that then is by setting these two things equal to each other so it's basically a form of simultaneous equations so if we do that we can either do that or subtract one from the other so we can do that instead and we can see x squared where it's just an x squared here in terms of x's then, well, there's 2k in this one and 2 over there. So that's plus 2k minus 2. A lot of x's. And in terms of just constants, 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. And the whole thing then, y take away y, will be 0. Beautiful. So I'm going to factorise the 2 out of this as well, just very quickly. And we've got x squared plus 2 lots of k minus 1. Lots of x plus 4 equal to 0. And our goal here is to have no intersections. And to do that, we need to then inspect the um, discriminant, which is noted with this little triangle. I think it's sometimes called del. And basically, this is b squared minus 4ac. So the bit we see inside the square root. And we know we can only take square roots when it's either zero or a positive number. So negative numbers aren't allowed. So when there's no intersections, basically that happens because we're trying to square a negative number and that's not allowed. So we need to find this thing. We want the discriminant to be less than zero. So let's fill in what this is. B squared is going to be our 2k minus one. So it's, it's when that's squared, that's four, lots of k minus one squared. So the four comes from the two being squared. Take away then four times a times c. Well, a is one, c is four. So it's four times four, which is 16. And we want that thing to be less than zero. Beautiful. We can divide off by a four. So we're left with k minus one squared minus four is less than zero. And now sometimes you'd be tempted to sort of expand this out and try and solve it as a quadratic. We could do that, but we could also note that this is incomplete in the square form. So we can just rearrange straight away. So what we have then is that k minus one squared is less than four. And now we want to do square root, but it's quite difficult to do with um, inequalities. It can be easier to quickly sketch the curve and think about what's going to happen. So it's a positive x squared, or k squared, I suppose. And there's a line 4 as well. And we want the values then when the quadratic is below the constant. So if we think about the intersections, we want this range in here. So in between the two values of the intersection. So what that means is that when we square root this thing, we're going to have minus 2 is less than k minus 1 is less than 2. The alternative would be to have that k minus 1 is less than negative 2 and that k minus 1 is greater than 2. So on the outside, whereas this one represents it being inside. So next step then, we just need to add 1 to both sides or to all three sides. And what we're left with then is that negative 1 is less than k is less than Three. So k needs to be between minus 1 and 3, and that will mean that there's no intersections between our two curves. Beautiful.